Dubai Aerospace, developer of the eFlyer 2 and eFlyer 4 family of electric aircraft, achieved several significant milestones over the past year as it presses hard to be the first company to achieve FAA Part 23 certification on an all-electric airplane, bringing the full promise of electric propulsion to the flight training and general aviation markets with safe, practical, and reliable electric aircraft. On February 8, 2019, the eFlyer prototype successfully completed its first flight with a Siemens electric propulsion motor at Centennial Airport, south of Denver, Colorado. Siemens will provide electric propulsion systems for the production version of the eFlyer 2 airplane, consisting of a 57-pound SP70D motor with a 90-kilowatt peak rating or 120 horsepower and a continuous power setting of up to 70 kilowatts or 94 horsepower. Soon after the first flight, the Norwegian company OSM Aviation Group signed for 60 eFlyer 2s, which was by Aerospace's largest purchase deposit to date. OSM said the eFlyer 2 will be a great addition to their pilot training program. Recently, by Aerospace and Blackbird, the world's leading on-demand general aviation marketplace, announced a long-term partnership to make on-demand flying more affordable than driving for trips up to 300 miles. Blackbird agreed to purchase by Aerospace's first 100 commercial 4-seat eFlyer 4s and 10 eFlyer 2s. With the investment from Subaru SBI Innovation Fund in November of 2018, Bi Aerospace is advancing in the certification process with the FAA. George E. Bai, CEO and founder of Bai Aerospace, said his company has put together an amazing team to meet the goals and milestones required to FAA certify its two-seat eFlyer 2 electric airplane as quickly and safely as possible. He added that demand from the aviation community for electric airplanes with utility, such as for use as flight trainers and for air taxi services, continues to expand. The E-Flyer family of aircraft requires no aviation fuel and results in zero emissions and significantly lower noise pollution compared to conventional aircraft. The sleek E-Flyer design also features enhanced speed and altitude performance with extremely low operating costs. The four-seat IFR-capable E-Flyer 4 aircraft will closely follow the certification of the E-Flyer 2. For more information, go to www.byaerospace.com. Today's aviation news is filled with stories about the need for properly trained pilots to meet an increasing demand that's showing little signs of slowing. Along with that greater demand, new pilots entering the industry will need to have different skills to deal with a complex cockpit environment. Training tomorrow's aviation professionals is also becoming more demanding. To address this challenge, a new flight training academy has been established based on a proven flight school which has been training pilots for the better part of a decade. The Sling Pilot Academy, based in Torrance, California, is the brainchild of three aviation entrepreneurs, Wayne Totten, Jean D'Assonville, and Matt McKnightsky. They've been working in a number of aviation disciplines for decades and are more than well acquainted with the skills that will be required to be competitive and safe as the aviation industry continues to evolve in the coming years. Equipped with all-new next-generation Sling training aircraft, which use the latest in modern power plant and glass cockpit technology, Sling Pilot Academy provides cost-effective, quality training designed to prepare tomorrow's airline pilots. Complete professional flight training programs that may be undertaken in less than nine months, from first flight to course completion, are available now for under $63,000. Less expensive than many other similar courses, but no less comprehensive in their scope. After completing the entire program, pilots will have more than a basic commercial pilot's license with an instrument rating. They'll also receive a multi-engine rating, as well as the three primary instructor ratings, Certified Flight Instructor Airplane, 
CFI instrument airplane and CFI multi-engine, meaning they'll be equipped to go right to work in today's challenging aviation industry. By using the Sling Pilot Academy, you can be employable by an airline in just over two years. After your initial nine months of training, you'll spend about a year and a half as an instructor to log a total of 1,500 hours of solid flight experience. And the Sling Pilot Academy can help you get that as well. Boeing's Pilot and Technician Outlook forecasts a massive demand of more than 600,000 pilots worldwide over the next 20 years. And airlines are offering larger salaries and bonuses in an effort to attract and retain top talent. So join us. The Sling Pilot Academy's new program is already training tomorrow's airline pilots in picturesque Southern California. We have cockpit and class assignments ready now to get you started on the career you've dreamed of. Wingbug is a completely portable, self-encompassed pedostatic system. It uh, relies on ADA hearts, which is air data, provides that wirelessly to the cockpit, transmits it right onto your iPad or portable uh, electronic device. Wingbug provides, initially off the first screen, is the basic six-pack, so that is your airspeed indicator, your artificial horizon, your altimeter, your turn and bank and slip indicator, um, your compass, and then your VSI, which is vertical speed indicator. This little device right here is, is fantastic. It's, it's portable, it's lightweight, it's easy to attach to the aircraft. There's a multitude of mounts that you can use using an action camera mount. Uh, you can put it in the placement that you need where it'll work best with the airplane. The device itself is aerodynamic, it's water resistant, it's shock resistant, weather resistant. You know, the wing bug was built by aviators for aviators. What, it makes it, what makes it so unique is its portability. The fact that it can be moved from aircraft to aircraft. As a pilot advances in their training career, they can take it from their Cessna 172 up to their twin engine beach or whatever airplane that they decide that they want to fly. Wingbug really benefits flight schools in many different ways. As a student, um, primarily, it, it's very difficult to learn in a stressful setting and absorb majority of the information that's being passed to you. So Wingbug gives them the ability to replay that in a classroom setting from the actual flight that was just taken. It, it's a great training device that captures the flight data as they're doing it. So when they're paying attention to the instructor, they're hearing some things and not hearing other things, the wing bug is gathering their flight data so they can review it at the end of the flight and learn what they did right and learn what they can do better next time. 
A student pilot's gonna want a wing bug because it's gonna make their training environment more productive. Experimental pilots, uh, home-built pilots, they can, they can have instrumentation, they can afford to have instrumentation inside their aircraft that they couldn't afford to have before. And they couldn't afford it because two reasons, the cost and because of the space. And now you can have so much, for, the size of a mini iPad, you can have a six pack of instrumentation inside the aircraft that you didn't have room for or the weight allowance for in smaller aircraft. And having the ability to move a pedostatic system on an aircraft and put it in different locations really leads to a whole realm of, of new possibilities um, when it comes to both testing as well as data acquisition and what you can see in the cockpit. Wingbug can do so much for a pilot, both in the informational standpoint, but it really boils down to flying smarter, flying safer, and having a redundant system. Safety. Safety is why instrument redundancy is important. Any time that you can have something to, to, to keep you flying safely, you can get to a field safely, you can land, you can get fixed what you need to get fixed, and then move on, it's a great thing. And again, it's about flying safer and about flying smarter. The app is very easy to use. It's user-friendly. It was designed for um, pilots to be able to incorporate both in the cockpit. The main feature of the app is, and the wing bug itself, with uh, going along with flying smartest, we did not want it to be a distraction. We wanted to add value to the cockpit. So the app is meant to, once it's set up, to run in the background and be there as a redundant source of information. Wingbug is extremely affordable. In, a, in an environment in aviation where everything that you buy is expensive, this is much less expensive than putting two or three instruments in an airplane. You're getting a full six pack of instrumentation, not to mention all the things that are coming in the future for Wingbug as well. So it's very affordable, and I think many pilots are gonna find this to be one of the most affordable pieces of equipment they've ever bought for their airplane. International aircraft designer and manufacturer Pipistrel is set to electrofly the 2019 EAA Air Venture Fly In and Trade Show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, July 22nd through the 28th. Pipistrel will be displaying an extensive selection of aircraft with a special emphasis on revolutionary, electrically powered training aircraft, including the Pipistrel Alpha Electro, a two place high wing fully electric aircraft, the first LSA accepted electric aircraft in the world. And you won't want to miss seeing the 50% scale model of the Pipistrel 801 EVTOL electric aircraft, a leading contender for the Uber Elevate program. Also on display will be a Virus SW, a Cinus Flex, and an Alpha Trainer, a technologically advanced aircraft for the flight training market. For the young at heart, 14-year-old Riley Spidell's Pipistrel Cinus will be on display at the Soaring Society of America site. Riley just recently flew her motor glider coast to coast across the U.S., becoming the youngest solo pilot to accomplish this feat. Pipistrol produces over a dozen models of innovative two-seat aircraft. New to the mix is their sleek Panthera aircraft, a high-performance three-seat GA flyer, which will be available with a number of power system options, including electric, hybrid, and fuel-powered engines. Pipistrol USA's Air Venture 2019 display is located just inside the main entrance on Celebration Way. Be sure to stop by and experience how Pipistrel is shaping the future of general aviation.
There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Hi, I'm Greg Cohen from Bendix King. I'm the president, and we're really uh, looking forward to Oshkosh this year. It's going to be fantastic for Bendix King. My name is Stefan Fima. I'm vice president of marketing and product management for Bendix King. One of the must stops is the Bendix King Pavilion. It is uh, a pavilion that is well located. We always show really interesting aircraft. Uh, on our deck, we have unparalleled views of the flight line and of the, of the air shows. We show a full line of avionics. We also show new technologies, and, and that's pretty, pretty unique. Most people are, are showing what they already have. We're showing not just what we already have, but what we're building for the future. So if you want to see innovation, uh, one of the places you want to come is, is, is see Bennings King Pavilion. We've got great new products. We've got our certified AeroView Touch uh, for the first time and the complete cockpit. So if you are a new aircraft manufacturer, you are an OEM, you are developing uh, a new kind of aircraft, maybe an electric aircraft, and you're looking for a flight deck that is very affordable, that is very simple to install, that is very capable, that is customizable, right? If you have very unique aircraft characteristics and you want to customize the displays, uh, and one that is natively connected, then you need to come to our booth, to our pavilion, and see the AeroView Touch integrated flight deck. We also have our Aero Cruise, a fantastic new autopilot, and we're also introducing our partnerships, which include autopilots, our AeroNav, um, and our AeroPoint. We're very excited about the AeroView Touch because we're announcing with Cessna an upgrade program for all of the Bendix King equipped aircraft. We're also announcing that we're in the Pipistol Trainer, which we're very excited about theirs and other aircraft they have. And thirdly, we've got a uh, partnership with Airworks in the helicopter market. First sign for us having our AeroView Touch in the helicopter market. The AeroFlight is fantastic. We're working on certification to integrate with all of our autopilots. So we're really excited to get that out and the marketplace has been waiting for that. Last year, we demonstrated the AeroCruise 230 autopilot in Oshkosh. And now this year, we can say that it is released and so the AeroCruise 230 is a all-digital autopilot that is a perfect upgrade if you have an aircraft with a KFC 150, 200, or 250 autopilot. So we announced XView Touch flight display last year for experimental aircraft. And this year we're announcing a new capability, and this is really for all of those aircraft enthusiasts who are also software developers by day. Uh, we're enabling a streaming capability within the, the display, or we have enabled a streaming capability, so that we'll take all of the data that is being shown to you, the pilot, on that display and stream it out of the system in real time. So if you have any communication device in your aircraft, you have a, a, cell, a cell phone modem, you have a satellite communication terminal, or you want to put one in, you can stream all that data down to the ground and, and display it in real time on a personal computer that you have in your hangar or in your home. So if you're looking to, to do something interesting and see what software apps you might be able to develop that tie into your aircraft with real-time data, uh, the XView Touch display will now support that and really allow you to build any kind of, of application that, that you can imagine. 
So every year we like to try and show different aircraft uh, on the pavilion that show different ways that people are using, avi you know, putting in our avionics. This year we have two aircraft that we're going to be showing on the, dis uh, on the pavilion. The first one is the uh, Lancer Legacy. This is an experimental race aircraft that is going to be flying in the Reno Air Races a little bit later this year. And that's been fully outfitted with a Bendix King panel. So if you want to see Bendix King equipment in an experimental aircraft, come and see it uh, with the Lancer Legacy. The other aircraft we're showing is actually one that we showed last year, which was the Sokata TB-30. It doesn't matter what kind of aircraft or what kind of aircraft you're going to buy. There's Bendix King available for that aircraft or already in that aircraft, and we'll show you we're going to take care of it, and you have somewhere to go for customer support for the lifetime of that aircraft. No one has to tell you that the aviation business is fascinating, especially if you're one of the visionaries that is attempting to bring aviators together to showcase the best the industry has to offer at one of the few venues that focuses on the most affordable and rewarding aspects of civil aviation. The 2019 DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase is all about experiencing the fun side of flying and is poised for great things this fall. November 14th to 16th at the DeLand Municipal Airport in DeLand, Florida. The event will host more than 100 exhibitors and feature an amazing assortment of sport aircraft, ultralights, trikes, biplanes, rotorcraft, powered parachutes, and paragliders, as well as engines, avionics, pilot gear, and flight schools. There will be opportunities to get up close and personal with the aircraft and the companies that build them, as well as to enjoy actual demonstration flights, interactive workshops, educational forums, keynote speakers, food concessions, live music, underwing camping, pre-owned aircraft sales, and more. Best of all, it's solid family entertainment, all in the quaint and historic town of DeLand, voted America's best main street just last year. One of the keys to the success and prominence of the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase is the DeLand Municipal Airport, which is on a mission to become the center for sport aviation in the Southeast United States. The DeLand Municipal Airport has big plans to bring together aviation leaders, general aviation enthusiasts, and youth interested in sport aviation to enhance and promote recreational aviation of all kinds. The DeLand RC Club recently celebrated 25 years of flying on the north end of the airport, and the DeLand Naval Air Station Museum is always a highlight stop for all ages. Totally committed to the welfare of the sport aviation community, DeLand Municipal Airport has added an exciting new venture, the Sport Aviation Village, a year-round commerce park for the sport aviation industry, with special emphasis on home-built and light sport aircraft. The Sport Aviation Village will be developed in several stages, each designed to support the sport aviation industry in different ways. The infrastructure of Phase 1A was just completed and includes six building sites for commercial use hangars. And Phase 1B will include an additional 30T hangars and up to four building sites. Phase 2 and 3 will include building sites for larger facilities. The DeLand Airport has recently raised $7.1 million to build a 6,000 square foot administration building and rehabilitate and extend the south ramp. Part of the design phase for 2020 will be a fuel farm as well as the rehabilitation of both the east and west ramps. So, whether you're looking for the best venue this fall for all things sport aviation or a proper home for your aviation business, the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase and DeLand Municipal Airport Sport Aviation Village are options you need to consider as part of your sport aviation activities. We'll see you there.
Delta Hawk Engines is reimagining the general aviation engine industry with their new jet fuel engine. Delta Hawk Engines knew that to get this engine FAA certified, a major investment was needed in technology and infrastructure. The 72,000 square foot facility is upgraded and ready for production with new state-of-the-art labs that include a dynamometer testing facility with both water brake and propeller dynamometers, extensive data acquisition and analysis equipment, a coordinate measuring machine that can measure to the two millionth of an inch, optical comparator, and other metrology equipment, a new clean room for final assembly and a fabrication shop, an advanced research and development center is planned for the near future. New computer simulation tools allow engineers to completely simulate how the engine will perform at all operating conditions including specific altitudes, temperatures and fuel flows. Designed by pilots, for pilots, the DHK-180 engine's unique and simple design provides easy inspection and maintenance. The high reliability direct drive engine provides extraordinary power in a low weight compact package. Innovative and unique technology has been combined with extensive use of modern materials and a very low parts count. The result is simplicity rarely seen in a contemporary engine. So what does all this mean for pilots? A lower cost of ownership, highest reliability and decreased maintenance. The engine's smaller size provides improved packaging and lower aerodynamic drag. These critical distinctions in the engine allow for greater speed while reducing fuel consumption and increasing mileage per gallon. Delta Hawk anticipates receiving FAA certification on the 180 horsepower engine by the end of 2019. The engine is powering a Cirrus SR20 from the company's headquarters to AirVenture in Oshkosh. Visitors can see the engine by stopping by booths 166, 167, 177, and 178. Delta Hawk Engines is power reimagined. After 115 years of existence, we continue to innovate Llevamos nuevas tecnologías a la aviación general. and excel in manufacturing quality. We design engines and aftermarket parts and peace of mind to all pilots and operators regardless of the engine they fly. Today is a new dawn with a new name, Un nuevo logotipo. a new factor and a global kunden focus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Continental Aerospace Technologies is entering a new era. We're excited about what we're doing. Beginning with the investment that we're making in our team members, their skills, their education, and their capabilities to help the flying consumer is the first pillar in our program to take us forward into the future. Next is the investment in our new factory. This factory and the equipment that we'll begin putting into it later this year give us skills and capabilities to bring new product, new components, and new technology to the market faster than we've ever been able to before. Next, Continental Aerospace Technologies, beginning this year, will be bringing a range of new engine products and new technologies that will bring value and capability to you, the flying public. And finally, Continental Aerospace Technologies understands its commitment to the environment and to our future generations. 
We have established an investment fund that will allow us to invest in companies bringing new advanced technologies, bringing great entrepreneurial skills and innovative ideas that we can combine with our experience that will bring new, efficient power system technologies to pilots all over the world. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we fly with you. Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simple avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com Fly for free! Pipistrol's Alpha Electro Trainer and the Pipistrol Taurus Electro Sailplane are true electric airplanes and can be powered by the Pipistrol Solar Trailer. See them in action at pipistrol-usa.com. The Sling 2, a modern, economical flight training airplane for today's pilots. 120 knot crews, sporty handling, sliding bubble canopy, modern glass panel, and dependable Rotax power. Available in LSA or kit versions. Check it out at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Few who love aviation aren't familiar with the name Robert Anderson, Bob Hoover, one of the most respected and beloved figures in the aviation world. He lived a life of purpose, integrity, and accomplishment that remains the envy of the aerospace community. He was a military aviator, test pilot, air show demonstration pilot, and lifelong aviation advocate who gave us decades of great stories and legends to remember and cherish and left us with a critically important mission to undertake. The primary caretaker for that mission is the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation. The foundation is a 501c3 tax-deductible organization led by President Tracy Forrest and Chairman Michael Herman, who work alongside fellow board of directors George Gould, Brian Cochran, Joan Cochran, James G. Kidrick, and Rich Pickett. The foundation was established by Bob prior to his passing in the fall of 2016 in order to perpetuate his dedication to excellence, integrity, learning, and mentorship by financially supporting educational institutions, offering scholarships, and inspiring the next generation of American aviation leadership. In addition to financial support, Bob's wish was that the foundation would provide enhanced safety training, mentoring, and networking opportunities through partnerships with other aviation and aerospace organizations adhering to the same basic precepts. Over the past few years, the foundation has been fine-tuning its mission and is in the process of adding many important initiatives to support and enhance Bob's directives. In late 2018, 
the foundation embarked on a program to seek U.S. Postal Service recognition of the legendary Bob Hoover with the issuance of a commemorative postage stamp around what will be the 100th anniversary of his birth. While Bob never sought such honors throughout his life, this program is one way to keep Bob's memory alive and bring renewed attention to the mission of the Foundation. We hope this effort will enhance the future for flyers and other aviation professionals who might someday follow Bob's example. Other programs and objectives are under consideration by the Foundation's board, though expansion of the award, scholarship, and education programs are at the forefront of the objectives that are destined to make Bob's mission a prominent and critical part of augmenting aviation's future. The Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation welcomes your interest, support, and participation as we build on the incredible legacy left to us by an uncommonly gifted man who loved nothing more than to see the world of aviation grow and prosper. Have you noticed that the average flight training aircraft often doesn't look so much different than the one your father may have flown? Or your grandfather, for that matter? Battle-weary, dated, poorly equipped, and out of touch with the times, these aircraft are a less than perfect option for a student looking to ready themselves for their dream aviation job. The Airplane Factory of Torrance, California is proud to bring you an alternative, the Sling Next Generation Trainer a sporty, modern flight training aircraft with a glass panel and FedEx-equipped engine. The NGT is already racking up hundreds of hours at the Sling Pilot Academy, where it's proving the aircraft's value and efficiency on a daily basis. The Sling NGT looks like a modern trainer should. Big, high-visibility sliding bubble canopy, the latest Rotax 912 IS power plant, a brand new Garmin G3X glass panel, outstanding economics, and solid performance. 120 knot cruise, nearly a thousand foot per minute climb, and an economy cruise fuel burn of under four gallons per hour. The NGT has a wide side-by-side -side cockpit with adjustable leather seating, sporty control sticks, plenty of baggage area, and the option for a ballistic airframe parachute. The IFR-capable Garmin panel is paired with a dual-access autopilot system and even offers in-flight envelope protection. These aircraft are in daily use at the Sling Pilot Academy proving their durability and performance in a modern, growing, and busy flight school that's logging hundreds of hours a week. It won't be long before flight training establishments all over the country begin to take advantage of what the Sling Pilot Academy has already learned, that the Sling NGT attracts students and then keeps them engaged through the rigors of a professional flight training program and then takes them from zero time to private, commercial, IFR, and all their CFI ratings in as little as nine months. The Sling NGT is now available and fully equipped for serious IFR and cross-country flight training for just over $200,000. For more information about the Sling NGT, check out AirplaneFactory.com.
I'm Meg from Clarity Aloft. We've spent the past 13 years talking to pilots like yourself, flying many hours with it, and we're really excited about all that we've brought to our newest design. We're gonna spend the next couple of minutes talking about the features of the Flex, how to use it, how to wear it, and how to store it. Let's get started. We took some of our most successful features from our previous headsets and paired it with a really innovative new design. You'll be able to recognize the same dual balanced armature speakers with the comply canal tips. We also still have the noise canceling Electret mic, pro audio quality, beautiful sound. And the frame is entirely new. With the Flex, you have something that folds flat, as you can see it here, but this is very flexible, very light, our lightest ever, and a ton of customization. The Flex is the lightest weight headset we've ever made. The mic boom can be moved from side to side, so if you need it on the right or the left, both are options. You can adjust the headband to fit any head size, and it folds completely flat for storage. Here's how to wear the Flex. Open the ear hooks up, Put the band behind the head, adjust the mic boom forward or back, and adjust the toggles at the back to fit the back of your head. Another great feature of the Flex is that you can move the mic boom from the left side to the right side. To do that, simply remove the mic boom, unstring the wire from the toggle, Place the mic boom on the opposite side, pressing into the housing, and restring the cord. Once you're back on the ground, storage is fast and easy. All you have to do is fold it all flat, place it inside the case, coil the cord on top, and you're ready for your next flight. From all of us at Clarity Aloft, thank you for choosing the Flex. Happy flying.